and the camera is going to glow up too. So. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Appreciate that. Trying to do something different, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, beautiful me, being beautiful you, being beautiful me. Oh, come on, come on, come on. That's right. You got it. Being beautiful me, Andreetta. Mm. Mm. I hope I can start talking in this, y'all. And dark chocolate and caramel. Mm. 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 Come on. Come on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now I'm chilling in the shop. I'm chilling in front of the camera. Because I got these cocoa melts. Coconut caramel, six percent dark chocolate. No dairy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I got some caramel on my teeth. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing out there? So, welcome to the Andre Eddie Show here on IBNX Radio Network. And that is the top 40 station. Next, 105. Okay, I'm your lady being beautiful, me, Andreetta. And welcome, guys. Yeah, we back here. We ain't stopping. We've been doing this for how long? Oh, yeah. We got some more to go. Yeah, we got some more to go. We gotta keep it moving. Pretty much it. Yeah. Is it possible you can still use my other number? The other number? Which number? It's a, it's a Google Vo Voice number. I, I have no idea how to set it up. And no, I it. have it. I'm just saying. I'm just looking like this. <laughs> yeah, that, too, that too, if you want to do that, yes. Okay. Can you just let her know and we can still keep it? Yeah. It's a 470222. That's it. Yeah, okay. And welcome to the Andre the Show. I'm your lady being beautiful. Me, Andre Yetta, everybody. How have you been doing? How is your week? Are you still keeping masked? Are you, well, look, are you being masked up? Are you still, still staying there? Okay, well, listen, guys, what I want to say is, is that we got, uh, you know, those headliners for you that you be, yeah, being beautiful, me, help to your ears, that drama spot, and then, of course, the exhibition segment of Who's Who in Entertainment, and what now, in the news, we be right back here on the Andre at the Show.
<laughs> hey, hey, come on. The fact is that that's actually a black woman. Which one? What's her face? Doja Cat. Doja Cat. She just really, really, really. Like she's it. very fair. She's like my. She's like my um. Like my grandmother. Fair. My grand. Well, my grandmother and um and her sister. If you see them, you would think. You know, I mean, but you see that. You see that. Yeah. You know, talk to them. Maybe. Then that's when. That's honestly. That's what I was thinking. I hear you how you talk. Yeah, yeah. How you, how you walk away. From the <laughs> that's honestly, this is This sweater don't know what to do with itself. It really doesn't. It is really Richard Ricky Lee and Carl Braxton. Hello everybody. How are you doing out there? Thank you so much for watching the Andreetta show. I'm your lady being beautiful, me Andreetta. Hey, what? Stay tuned. We got some more for you. Yeah, you know what? There's a number on there I do want if you need to call in. You know. It's four seven zero two 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 three three four two. Well, you know, if you just want to say hey, <laughs> on or of course on the topics that we're talking about, okay? This is your lady being beautiful, me and Joretta, and you're listening to your top forty station, Next one hundred five. This is your lady being beautiful, me, Andreetta, of the Andreetta Show. You're listening on the IBNX Radio Network that is engaging, empowering, and entertaining you. you. So, Patricia. Come on, come on, come on. That's right. You got it. <laughs> Being beautiful, me, <laughs> Andrea. Oh, yeah. Being beautiful, for me. Being beautiful, me. Being beautiful, me. Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. That's right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful, me, let's go. Eh. That's right, that is Being Beautiful Me, Andreetta. That's me, yeah, uh-huh. This is the Andreetta Show here on your Top 40 station, next 105. And guys, look, you want to continue on listening to IBNX Radio Network. You know, we got so much more for you. Yes, we do. And the weather, well, here in Georgia, just don't know what to do with itself today. You know how it goes. You can cross the street and it's raining and, next, on, the, and, and on the other side is what, you know, it's sunny and hot. <laughs> But anyway, hey guys, uh, this show, we want to go ahead and get it popping and with what now in the news. This show is being sponsored by the Urban League Magazine. I want you to go ahead and check them out on Instagram. Come on, let's go. All right, guys, look, here, uh, according to uh, LinkedIn, you know, this is the what now, what now in the news. You know, the C uh, CDC director has warned America, America, and it's, uh, you know, says that it's, 
you know, in the fall, it will be the worst ever they have ever had um, because of the, well, you know, the COVID-19. Every day is going to be talking about this COVID-19. And I think for the next two years is what I heard. We all like it to be all over with, wouldn't we? Have you noticed that we haven't heard much from China or we haven't heard much from the other, like, uh, other countries? Have you noticed? And I like to say, Johnny Weirdo on the ones and twos, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing very well. Have, uh, how are you doing today? Doing good. Doing we, good. we keep it, you know, Johnny Weirdo told me that he did not get any sleep. And, I, and, and we have to pray for him because, um, you know. But boy, you need to go to bed. <laughs> That's what you need to do. <laughs> Take good, and there's no such thing as catching up on sleep. Just go ahead. Just go ahead and go to sleep. That's what we just go ahead and do. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, you know the CDC says that um, in the fall we're going to have its worst ever because I guess you know they say that the um, it's heard of that COVID-19 is worse in the cool months or the um, you know cold months. Versus the summer, you know, I have to tell you, I, 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 I drive here in Atlanta, like most people, and there's a lot of traffic out there, a lot of people still moving around, a lot of people, um, there are people still working, either at home, you know, and I have to tell you, the, are the numbers really, the, the numbers decreasing, are they being steady? Are they are or are they increasing? What do you think, Johnny? I think the numbers are increasing, but I think they're being falsely reported at the same time because okay, okay, because like if you think about it, every time you go to get the test for COVID, yeah, you're adding to it, yeah. So it doesn't make sense to keep getting tested. Go yeah, get tested your one time and then just <laughs> well, don't worry about it after that. So yeah, worry about it. yeah. I have uh, one person, as we all know, she had went and got, um, got tested. And she wanted to confirm it, and yes, okay, they say quote unquote yes, and then she's going back to get retested. And I'm like, okay, why? If you feeling like, okay, moving right along, you know. <laughs> if you feel better, then that's good. Yeah, that's a great thing. There are people that um, like in their seventies and eighties that actually survived it, you know, that's elderly. Was executed first. You got, yeah, like, exactly. So that's why I mentioned them because, you know, they, they're doing fine. And a lot of people out there, I don't know, everyone could be, most people are asystematic, yeah. you know. Um, and they're the ones that actually are, for what, I'm, for what I understand, that they are, can endanger someone else that is, you know, can, yeah. can be harmed. You know, so we walking around this walking cesspools. I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying. That is true, that's true, that's true. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. But anyway, um, please, my trustees, I want you to go ahead and pay attention to what I am going to report. This coronavirus has spikes. Um, spikes aren't the only public health crisis looming this, um, this autumn. Now, while the world uh, watches and waits for the COVID-19 vaccine to bring coronavirus pandemic under control, I don't know how, but you know, I think what it is that, you know, we have been eating very unhealthy, doing things to our bodies. So that's why it's easy for, you know, for this thing to mutate or what may have you. Uh, it is, it's a lot more detail and I don't feel like getting all into that because it's too much. Now, it, it would be the flu shot, guys. Now, as America's uh, annual influenza season um, um, usually begins in October, okay, before peaking between December and February, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is very worried about what is going to happen in this pandemic that killed at least 200,000 people, um, Americans, uh, since March. Now, it bleeds into the flu season, that is. Okay? Now, which is responsible for between 12,000 and 61,000 um you know, deaths, you know, a year, as it is. So it already, the flu kills people. Why do you think it kill? it's already harming people in such a way to death, you know, Johnny? Uh, I'm talking about the flu. The flu? The flu is anything, really. The flu can be up to a heart, like, I feel like the flu is a mixture of... Yeah, it, exactly. Like, it's not one just thing, because when I caught the flu once, my, my nose was stuffed up, I, it was hard for me to breathe, Really? And yeah. Okay. And I, I was just like, I didn't throw up though. I just really couldn't breathe. 
So I was like, okay. Okay. You had a different, you had a different little, you know. Basically, yeah, the flu is different <laughs> for everybody. The flu can be basically congested, respiratory. Ah. Uh, I or it could be your stomach. It could be your digestive system. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, it yeah that's be, true. Oh, and it could be a combination of all those things. Yeah. True. Some nasty worm. Basically. The flow and flow through your body. But let me say this. I had the flu one time. Or maybe twice. No, twice. Well, anyway, I probably had COVID-19 back in the M90s anyway. Because <laughs> I, 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 it was really bad. Okay. Um, I Someone told me to go ahead and get some whiskey and some mix it with some honey. Mm-hmm. I promise you. Mm-hmm. I was good after that. You're good. <laughs> honestly, alcohol... It's clean, like yeah, yeah. Vodka, like it's vodka. If you were to drink like a not a whole bottle of vodka, yeah, uh huh. But like just a shot, it's gonna warm the chest. <laughs> yes, up. yes. And alcohol going into your oh system. Oh my like god. We ain't talking bleach, guys. We ain't talking real life. Basically, <laughs> basically, it's like imagine that. Imagine hey, no, exactly. Your clothes and yeah. It's, it's, you know, yeah. Alcohol. Wow, but I tell you right now, it was after I took the flu shot. That's when I got sick. I got sick before the flu shot. Well, I. I, I I I'm good. Yeah. I would not get the shot either. I'm not doing anything. Why am I, if, if I'm not, why am I get to protect myself? You're going to give me the, the the virus so it can protect me against this virus? I understand the logic behind it. I got it too. Yeah, but no. Like, no, thanks. <laughs> Anyway, the CDC director Robert Redfield had warned in um, the the WebMD interview on Wednesday, August 12th, that America is bracing for the worst fall from the public health perspective. Um, you know, he said that we've ever had. Now, the truth be known that the cooler weather somehow makes the coronavirus, um, you know, worse like I said earlier, or that the summer's heat kills the virus. Now, we all know that heat does kill, and the cool weather, what happens is that, you know, things start to hibernate, or it starts to, you know, but I was, mm, but then again, okay, let's just say this, like mosquitoes, right? Yeah. Let's just say mosquitoes, for example, give an example. Now, you have a pool, it's not moving, there's no running water, there's no movement, there's no... There's no movement, no circulation, and it starts to collect virus, other bacteria, mosquitoes start to swarm, things like that. We're talking about in the warm, yeah. warm weather. Okay. Now, in the cold, okay, you don't have that because it actually kills the virus or kills, it won't, um, bacteria won't start to, be- to develop, let's just say. But in a way, it starts to be the opposite when we are referring to something that's... I'm trying to get the right word to say, but, you know, I noticed that we talk about as far as weather part. Because if, like, if it's cold, not a lot of people are going to want to go outside either way. No. So, if there was winter time, go ahead and put that. Go ahead and put that two to four weeks or a good <laughs> month lockdown back in. That's the right time to do so. Yeah. Because December. Yeah. What are you doing December? Yeah. Honestly, during it though, because it's gonna be real cold. Uh huh. No one's gonna really go outside. Right. Christmas. Do it like the month of Thanksgiving and Christmas. Cause thanks family time. Thanksgiving and Christmas, I would say. I yeah. Did, November, months. December, January. But it's out of January. Just like, yeah. No, I know what you're saying. I agree with yeah. you. I agree with you. But I'm like including January, possibly another month. Yeah. In there. Just in case. Yeah. Oh, that's okay, what I mean. I right. Just, just let us sit the winter mid going into spring. Cause it all started. In the winter last year. It did because I know some people that actually had COVID before, before we, we actually gave it a even. Name, before we gave it a exactly. Name. And it was just like, oh, I'm just really sick. Yeah. So. Anyway, well, guys, you know, they say the heat does kill the virus, which has been a common misconception about the coronavirus causing the disease COVID 19. Rather, the fall and winter become influences. Um, Time to shine, as we just was talking about, right, Johnny? Now we're, he stated, um, uh, Redfield had mentioned that we're going to have to uh, uh, have COVID and the flu in the fall, and both epidemics. Why are they call the flu an epidemic? But anyway, we'll stress the hospital systems. Now that's mostly what we're more concerned about is the hospitals. You know, those in the um, healthcare, like myself. But anyway, you know, recently a majority of the hospitals have been, already been overwhelmed by the number of coronavirus patients Redfield had mentioned. And furthermore, the reports of hospitals in New York, Texas, and Arizona are calling in refrigerated trucks to serve as temporary morgues. And that does not 
sound good to me. That's not because if it's that trucks, is yeah. not that they doing that now. Trucks sitting outside for morgues. For morgues. So, so they're preparing for that's more not, deaths. That no, who, mm, mm, not good. not good at all. But anyway, um, <laughs> both outbreaks at the same time could be devastating this fall, is what they're saying. But one of them, um, influenza, the, the flu, actually has a vaccine and treatment can be kept under control. And the problem is that less than half of the country, 47%, has gotten the flu shot last year. The CDC normally recommends that 60% uh, to 70% of the country get the flu shot um, to keep the virus under control this year. Now, Redfield did say that his, he's pushing for 65% compliance. And uh, while the CDC normally purchases about 500,000 doses of vaccine each year for un, um, uninu, insure, uninsured excuse me, adults, this year Redfield said that it's ordered an extra 10 million doses. Hmm. Well, anyway, for more than 190 million doses total, they encourage that everyone get their vaccinated um, flu shots. Anyway, yet uh, health officials are concerned that fears of catching the COVID-19 in the public could keep profile, um, excuse me, keep keep people from seeking out the flu um, vaccine or other essential medical care as the pandemic uh, the pandemic continues. In fact, that less than half of the Americans have um, said they would get the COVID-19 cat um, vaccine if and when one becomes available. So some people are willing to go for it. I want to know what's in it. Um, but anyway, two of two of those things should not be. And if you ask for two of those things, and um, if they are, and the doctor says yes, then therefore you can say I don't want it, and that's that would be you not coming under that you're being belligerent. In other words, yeah, I give it like a few months, honestly. Wait till like how the results of others go. Oh well, well let's let me that's tell true. you guys. Just make sure you had that peppermint oil and the eucalyptus oils, and you have a lot. Um, you drink a lot of uh, you know, uh, teas and vaccine. Um, excuse me. Um, uh, potas not potassium, vitamin C. Yeah. Um, sea moss, yep. um, and um, oh, some MSM for them joints. Also, um, it's, it's a lot of things that you can do, um, but you are a product of your environment. You don't know what you don't know can kind of hurt you. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Can hurt you. It's, it's not, none of that saying, I don't go with what, don't, what you don't know can't hurt you. No, you, well, that's a lie. Okay, because they kept it away from you months before it actually came out, so, and, and it started know, hurting you, even, killing you. Yeah, even things you do know can hurt you. Anyway, that's why you should do your research. That's why I don't take mine, for instance. But anyway, Newsweek apologizes for the op-ed uh, uh, questioning Harris el eligibility, um, according to the U.S. News. Now they are stating that um, Kamala Harris. Uh, you know, she's not a citizen. You know what? We'll be right back here on the Andretta show. Enough. <laughs> there you go. Almost had you running into 7.30. I'll give you 7.25. <laughs> All you gotta do is let me know and I'll work it out. Yeah. Hey everybody, how you doing? That's here. Oh yeah, no, no, I'm the best. Just understand that. <laughs> My brain be moving like a mile a minute. <laughs> and then I'm trying, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do after I just saw what you did and I'm trying to put it together. <laughs> right. I'm already thinking about I'm trying to get a solution. Well, I'm already, ha already trying to get in the, I have the solution. Why well, are you trying to put it? <laughs> I have some, I have these cocoa, Mel's, no dairy in it, 
That's um sixty percent dark chocolate. Okay. And I just thought. And you know it's our chocolate because it has that taste. I'm your lady being beautiful, me, Andreetta, and I have um, some caramel stuck in my teeth. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, guys, we get together. This is the fun part about it. Mm-hmm. But anyway, let me tell you, this is what now in the news, and um, I just couldn't resist the cocoa um, and the caramel. Anyway, guys, um, Newsweek editors had... Um, had uh, apologized, you know, for basically taking note about um, Kamala Harris's uh, citizenship, and they had reported that. Anyway, this op-ed is being used by some of um, as um, by some as a tool to perpetuate uh, racism, and and uh, they apologize, uh, you know, basically that they try to say that Kamala Harris is not a citizen. My thing is. This is a, none of you were citizens actually in the United States. <laughs> and then a lot of them became president. Only until now. Now she's, now she's, she's, she's a senator, correct? Right? Johnny? If she's a senator. I think so. Okay, no, she's a senator. Or she's in, look, she's in Congress, okay? Sure. Why are you now questioning that she is a citizen? Same thing to Obama. So, no, I'm saying that you were already in office, but now because you're running for presidency or you're running for the, you know what I'm saying? The vice, president. vice presidency, now you want to question if they are a citizen. Oh, really? Why nobody question you? No, Mr. Mr. Trump, Mr. 45? I mean, why would they question anybody they already got the position? You're already in, in the position. You're already in a political position. They should have questioned you at the joke. That, when you first started your political career. Anyway, the op-ed was written by John Eastman, a conservative attorney who argues that the U.S. Constitution doesn't grant birthright citizenship. So Eastman, Eastman has sold doubt about Harris' eligibility based on her parents' immigration status. Now, Harris' mother was born in India and her father was born in Jamaica. And, and she was born here. And what's the problem? Where were your parents born at Eastman? I like to know. With a last name like that, yes, I pop my tongue. Well, anyway, moving on. <laughs> um. Anyway, guys, look. Newsweek earlier had defended the um the piece, arguing that Eastman was focusing on a long-standing, somewhat arcane legal. A debate about the 14th Amendment and not trying to ignite a racist conspiracy theory around Kamala Harris' candidacy. Candidacy. Oh, Lord have mercy. Now, but the theory is false. Harris, who ha was t um, tapped by Joe Biden to serve as his running mate on the Democratic ticket, now was born in Oakland, California, and is eligible for both the vice presidency and presidency under the constitutional requirements. Now, the question is not even considered complex uh, according to the constitutional lawyers. Now, 45, he's built his political career on questioning a political opponent's legitimacy. We need to be questioning all... We, we got a lot to question about you, 45. Okay? But the fact is that, <laughs> you know, enough is enough. 
We got to move on. We need, look, I, I'm wondering, I said this the other day, common sense just don't, it's not common anymore. Common sense not even, doesn't even make common sense. It's not even common sense anymore. No. So that's disturbing to me. And it should be disturbing to you. Now, all of those numbers I saw people come out concerning George Floyd and everyone else, Breonna Taylor, God bless you all, and the families, where the fact is that, I mean, they were coming out in droves. And I'm talking about all over the world. On, in November 2020, those numbers should even be higher at those polls. In comparison to what we have seen in the months of May and June, those numbers should be just as even higher. I will be so disappointed, and you should be too, if it does not. But anyway, guys, I tell you right now, enough is enough. And I have to say, you know, I think I just said enough. I think that was it. And we'll be right back here after this music break. Come on, let's go. We'll be right back here on the Andre the Show. And up next is our exhibition segment of Who's Who in Entertainment. You know the song I like? The one with John Legend with the, um, like the, um, the, um, what's your name, Phil? Caribbean music? I do not Oh my gosh, well, you gotta hear it. It's good. It's real good. Really? And it'd be in the same order, so I knew which one was coming up next. So I was like, okay, this one comes up next. And if you pull up John Legend, I don't know what it looks like now. Yeah. It's a really nice song. I think that's it. I have to hear it. That's a remix. We don't want a remix. What's it called? Great Love? Bigger Love. It might be it. There's a whole album called Bigger Love. It's a self-titled song. Hold up. Okay, I see me on, 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 on what's it called? On Facebook? On Instagram? YouTube. Yeah. Andre show, you can go to YouTube and do the same thing on IBNX Radio Network. Mm -hmm. And I heart. Okay, guys, look. 
Thank you so much for tuning in to the Andre the Show. I'm your lady being beautiful, me, Andre Adam. Mm-hmm. I'm still trying to... I, I almost thought about cutting these braids, like, like for almost all I'm cutting one. Because <laughs> I was ready to go ahead and do another, another one that quick. And we're listening to the Top 40 Station, Next 105. I got a minute. I got a minute. Being beautiful, me. Okay. Hey. Oh, shoot. I don't think that's it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, my, oh, gosh. <laughs> You, you do play the music behind the scenes, right? When I'm talking. Yeah. When I'm, okay. All right. And welcome back to the Andrea the Show. I'm your lady being beautiful, me, Andrea, to everybody. And I hope you stay beautiful looking in that mirror and say to yourself, I am being beautiful, me, because you are. Yeah, you are. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. This is your exhibition segment of Who's Who in Entertainment. And um, I like to say, you know, what's being beautiful me and a beautiful blessing, a true one that is, uh, rapper Gucci Man and his wife, Keisha K- 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 uh, Kayar. Okay, am I saying it right? Kayar. K- uh, K- uh. <laughs> um, anyway. They are expecting their first child together. Oh, yes, indeed. Now, she came out with her, um, this lacy and racy outfit, you know, on that beautiful body of hers. With that belly bump, yes, and hmm. And, uh, you know, she was looking like a little doll, you know, herself. And, uh, you know, congratulations, girl. You know what? It's a beautiful thing. Anyway, as this model had unveiled, yes, her baby bump, she's looking like, the, I think, you know, she was looking quite awesome, like I said, in this uh, lingerie. Now, Gucci Man had also, had also celebrated the news by posting a proud photo of his pregnant wife, assuring us, us all, that life is great. Mm-hmm. Now, how gorgeous is this glowing mama, is what he said. Now, Gucci uh, has a son, and Keisha has three children, and both of them, uh, well, both of from previous relationships, of course. And there's been no word on uh, Kior's due date, but well, we I think we're all looking forward to seeing how, you know, how I see those maternity photos going to be, right? Anyway, guys, congratulations from all of us here at the Andre the Show. And uh, we'll be right back here, you know. Oh, no. Are we going to be right back? No, no, we're not going to. Okay, I thought we had another song. <laughs> but anyway, let's keep it moving. Um, Will Smith is also, you know, guys, set to uh, executive produce Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the drama report. Um, excuse me, the drama. Uh, it's, a, it's going to be a drama. They're rebooting it as a drama. And I'm not feeling that because I'm like, I don't think uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was a drama in the first place. But they, they're making it a drama. Does that make sense to you? I don't know. Was it ever a drama? Of course not. I mean, it had some parts that were drama X, like when they were talking about when Will's talking about his dad. Who are you telling? That but mean, that's that one. That hurt me. Man, I think that hurt everybody. That when hurt. I sat there, I, I felt it through the, the television. Exactly. How he, I can feel that. Emotionally and like relatable. I so think like, we oh, all did. did. We all yeah. did. Yeah, that so, was an awesome one. If they do stuff like that, but more like all the time, like drama, like it has to be real good acting, honestly. That's all it really has to be down to it. Just make it real good acting wise. Well, I think, well, if there are, um, if Will is involved in it, I'm sure they're probably going to have, um, Jennifer Lewis in there, yeah. who is my favorite. She's my favorite. And why I fed, first met her on that show when I never forget. She told her husband when she was in the shower, she said, don't make me get ethnic on you. <laughs> you didn't feel that, Johnny? <laughs> I felt that, that part I didn't really see. Every time I watch the Fresh Prince. No, but 
This was this was the part when she was in the bathroom. The aunt, her and her husband, they came over to visit, and you know they was having problems. And I remember um, Will came into the bathroom mistakenly, you know, but uh, she came out the bath. She came out the shower with, the car, you know, with her head out the shower curtain. Don't make me get ethnic on you. And there was the way she said it. I was like, oh, I love her. <laughs> I just love her. But anyway, guys. Will Smith is going to be executive producing this here. Um, you can go to BallAlert.com to look at that story. Now, over the years, TV and movie re reboots have continued to rise in the popularity. Next on the uh, uh, roster is uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air reboot. Now, the remake title Bel-Air will uh, showcase the reality of the modern black family and dive deeper into inherent uh, conflicts. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. So adult boondocks. So live action boondocks. Let's do it. I guess so. You know what? I never actually watched the boondocks. You need to. I, no, I, 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 no I watch some of it, but I don't like purposely go and watch the boondocks is what I'm saying. Okay, it's honestly, it's, it's funny. It's, it's yeah, funny. I know. I saw it. It's 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 like, a lot of cussing. That's all I had. Got from that. But anyway, look. The emotions... And biases of what is it means to be a black man in America today, uh, which you know probably hasn't changed much anyway. Now, according to the Hollywood Reporter, Will Smith will be teaming up with film director Morgan Cooper uh, to executive produce the reboot drama series. The reboot um, comes after Cooper produced a four-minute trailer in March 2019, remaking the '90s comedy series as a gritty drama. I didn't see that part. I missed that one. Oh wow! I need to find it now. I don't remember seeing. No, I don't, mm, I don't, well, I guess I'm gonna have to check it out. Well, anyway, the trailer went viral on um, YouTube, capturing Smith's attention. And sources told the Hollywood Reporter that the new reboot um, has been in the works since the video has posted last year. Now, Cooper is said to co-write the script and direct, be a, uh, and be credited as a co-executive producer. For the project now, streaming services such as NBC's Peacock, HBO Max, and Netflix are reportedly uh, eyeing the drama series. Now, HBO Max is the current streaming home for the original series, and original series producers Smith, Quincy Jones, and Benny Medina. Hmm. Okay, but he's still he's still around. Okay. Anyway, along with the creators Andy and Susan um, Barowitz, are also set to return as the uh, executive producers on the remake of the series that ran from 1990 to 1996 and on NBC. And the announcement of the new project comes as a streaming services as streaming services continue to showcase the new reboots. Yeah, there has been a lot of reboots that are coming back. And um, they even put um, the game... Moesha, all on Netflix, on Netflix. I just saw that. I, I heard about it, but then I actually saw they actually put it up there. So uh, today I was watching the game. But I was watching the game on Hulu, you know, all the series. And Girlfriends, you know, I was watching all my series. I was like, those are the series I love, you know. <laughs> and they kept you laughing. They kept you coming, you know. Today, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, guys, what you think, Johnny? I mean... I'm happy they're bringing back older series. Cause they had substance. They had substance. Had, a lot of them did have something different to them. Like, and they did. Disney, they did. The whole Disney Plus thing kind of makes me happy. I don't own it. It's right. like, oh, it has a bunch of old stuff I used to watch. If I ever want to go watch it, I know how to go find it. Exactly. And um, like HBO Max. HBO Max, I just saw it. It has Boondocks on there. And it has older shows continued. Yeah. It has older shows continued on there. So yes. Like, oh, that's what's up. Okay, that's cool. Okay. They have the same animation style, and right? Designs, but from other shows, the same universe, basically for some animated stuff. Well, that's good to know that yeah. you like that kind of. Stuff. They had a lot of substance. Yeah. They actually told a story, not just throwing things out there just to say, just to get attention, just to like, why? Well, I don't get it. You know, what's my still my favorite? What? I love Lucy. I watched one episode when I was a kid. I didn't understand it. You you might want to go back and look at it again. Just like I watched Boondocks, you watch Alan Lucy. Okay. okay. <laughs> we'll be right back here on the Andre the Show with some vitamin D. Yeah, go ahead and get that at musicmakers101.com. This on Cam. Okay. 
take it to the floor. Show me. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Come on. Yeah, one more. Alright guys, I am just still, I'm just going over my stories right now. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> you can hear the music. If you can hear the music, great. That's my single. 50 seconds. 50 seconds. <laughs> Back to the Andre the show, guys. This is your top 40 station next 105. Okay, I kind of got paused there because I had a little caramel. Yeah, I'm still chewing on the caramel. <laughs> anyway, guys, look again, top 40 station next 105 here on your IBN next radio network. And guys, we are still in our what now, excuse me, not what now, in our exhibition segment of who's who in entertainment. And I want to go ahead and bring up about LL Cool J. He has, um, well, he had something to say, and it was good to hear what he said. And I'm really happy that he said it, to tell you the truth. What about talking about that he said? Well, this is what he said, he said. <laughs> anyway, um, ever since the Cardi B and um, Megan Thee Stallion has come out with this uh, song, WAP, right? Am I WAP? Or am I, what am I saying? WAP. It's WAP. Yes. WAP. Yeah, I know, but it don't look like it should be WAP. H, no, WAP. WAP. H. Okay, WAP. <laughs> okay, so according to Metro um, CEO UK, now, um, okay, LL, LL Cool J, my favorite, my neighbor, anyway, he has now, has, um, you know, said uh, this, said what he said, and it was a blessing to all of us, you know, to hear that when it's according to, no, excuse me, because of, 
He's an artist, they're artists, I'm an artist, and it was just good to hear that he has something to say about these two beautiful women, okay? And, um, you know, so this is what it is. He says, say what you want to say, artists say what you want to say, make what you want to make, he insisted, okay? Yeah. Now, it's all good. What's the problem? Because they came out with this particular song, WAP, and what they have shown, you know, someone saying you're exploiting women. First of all, they're grown women, okay? Exactly. They're, not the, they're not the cuties show that they try to show on Netflix with these little 11-year-olds are twerking. Okay, that is different, okay? Exactly. But these are grown women, okay? They wrote the song, okay? They did what they did. It's no different what... Uh, um, um, uh, well, that basically was what a whorehouse or whatever, right? There's some whores in this house. Okay, anyway, look. What's the difference if they put it on, on a CD, a vinyl, or whatever the heck it is? They put it on a track versus what's actually going on in the world anyway, and what's been going on in the world since day one. Does that make sense, Johnny? It makes sense. Honestly, the whole controversy behind the video is stupid. It's like people care about oh it's women empowerment. Yeah, y'all caring about the wrong kind of thing right now. Exactly, y'all caring about the wrong kind of thing. There's other things to think about. There really is, and that right there, like what what LL Cool J has said when he said this, I was like oh 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 exactly. well, amen, thank you. You know, I mean it was really you know he said you you've got people who feel like. The statue of David shouldn't be nude. So what are we supposed to do? Put some sweatpants on the statue of, of David? You know what I'm saying? So definitely. So let's put some joggers on the statue of David just so somebody is comfortable. So because you're not comfortable with that WAP, WAP video, how about this? Don't watch the WAP video. I'm just saying. Just like when you're on TV, what? Turn the channel. You understand, you understand what I'm saying? So, again, why are we, why are we having this, this discussion? Why are y'all bothered by this? So, when I come out and want to go across the world talking about being beautiful me, no, y'all not, and those people that are uh, uh, not happy, no, excuse me, those people that like to watch WAP videos are not happy with what I may come out because they don't want to hear about class. And not to say Cardi B and Megan Stallion are not talking about class. Look, they are artists. This is what you want to portray. This is what you want to do. Go for it. Have at it. Get your bag. Whatever. You understand what I'm saying? As long as we're not harming anyone, putting anyone in danger, then we're fine. Okay? But this is what artists do. So anyway, he said, he continued to say, L. Cool J, could you love that man, that man anymore? You know? Uh, uh, no, not uh, uh, Uncle Jay. I have to say, I said, can you love him anymore? I say, yes, we can. Because he, when he said that, I was like, okay, that was kind of, that was like a breath of fresh air. Hearing it from a man's perspective. You understand what I'm saying, Johnny? Yes. So, to hear him say it, it was like, okay, and he's a veteran. Okay? So, and he was the one out there showing and licking lips and everything. Like <laughs> They had a problem with him licking his lips. When he came out. So come on, guys. Anyway. L. Cool J's response to the WAP um, in stark contrast to Russell Brand with the uh, comedian um, coming under fire for sharing his thoughts on YouTube. And in a 17-minute video, the 45-year-old confessed uh, he was um, unsure whether the clip, which shows C Cardi and Megan Thee Stallion um, twerking around while Kylie Jenner, Norm Normandy, Normani and Rosalia uh, make the, the odd cameo was a feminist masterpiece or porn. <sighs> Whatever. That's all I got to say, guys. So, um, you know, from a political perspective, um, I don't know what that uh, demonstrates So the uh, for this progress. Uh, because gender and sex aside, what are the values that we are uh, collectively, um, you know, aspiring to? So, objective, 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 vacation. There you go. Okay, of uh, the uh, other uh, objectification <laughs> of the self. <laughs> anyway, 
uh, is a uh, objectification. Uh, objective. I can't get the damn word out. Objectification. Objectification. Thank you so much. So sometimes, um, it's, well, something that we're aspiring to sexuality and sensuality as a commodity. Well, now it won't be so reduc or reducive or simplistic. Simplis simplistic. So anyway, guys, I have to say just. Do you, as long as we're not harming another, you know, the, you, I, for one, if I'm having my little ones watching TV or anything like that, I have to remember that this I'm in control. True. Okay. So if I'm, I walked into someone's house. Okay. This child had to be six. They're listening to, I'm hearing, it wasn't. For a six-year-old, it was for you ratchet, you raunchy, or whatever. She's, they're turning, they have it on. And I'm like, and I actually made a mention. I said, um, is she, is, this is what she's listening to right now? They said, oh, yeah, her mama let her listen to that. So you, because her mama does that, so you're going to allow it, you're going to continue this. And the child didn't see nothing. I was bothered by that. Yeah, that makes I mean, I don't know when I was like helping my raise my little cousin. Like when my little cousin would come over, I'll play like certain shows. I know she watched in the daytime. But when she falling asleep, it's family guy. Well what what right. right. If you're white look, That's saying it, you monitor it. That's all you're monitoring it. Again, yes, monitor what your child is watching. And some of these adults don't know they ain't got no damn brains. So I, I'm just wondering, you, you, you know, I'm when I'm looking at this, this, and she was young herself with a baby herself, and she's watching this child, and she figures, okay, because her mama listens to it, she can listen to it too. Are you serious? No, I'm, I definitely have a problem. And again, with this mindset of people, even when I was people my age, they weren't thinking like I was thinking. Okay. I was a little bit probably a little bit more mature than most, you know, or what may have you. But the mindset I'm just like, no, I don't think that should you be watching or listening to that? You know, but anyway. Moving right along, guys. And that's all I have to say. And I'll say next up. That was a little that was too much drama for me. And we got some drama spot. And <laughs> we be right back after this music break. So come on. Yeah, let's go. She said certified free seven days a week. My thing is about this whole thing, Megan's music, if you listen to Megan before she made WAP, Megan was telling you how she likes to be done. Yeah. Yep. And the guys do it all the time. And so, yep. as an artist myself, I say it all the time. So I have like, no shame in saying it. It's like, it's funny. Let me tell you. It's like they say sex sells, and it really does. Well, it does. So my song is called Vitamin D. I actually had someone said to me, inbox me, and said, basically wanted me to, to their vitamin D, to their D. And he was like, he actually said, well, you sing about the D, yeah. but that don't mean I want your D. The hell? Come on. I'm an artist, so I'm going to, it's about, look, I wasn't raunchy like she's being raunchy, okay? <laughs> it's like you can be raw or you can be subtle. I was subtle. You can say it subtly or you can say it flat out all of it. Mm-hmm. And I know, it's, as an artist, I say that, right? I just don't. Mm -hmm. No shame in it. Mm -hmm. You got to be creative with it. That's all. I don't walk out, I don't walk out my door and then every man that I see, I want your vitamin D. <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure they don't go, both these women don't go up to men, and they met, first of all, Cardi a whole husband. She got a whole husband. Who might suit you? Oh, yeah. She got a whole husband that ain't gonna, it's not gonna, it won't be so delighted with you. And if Megan the family, probably handle herself. And she's living her best life. I don't understand why people mad. And Lil Wayne did a song called Pussy Music. I don't hear shit about that. If they were white, if they were white, we wouldn't be having this conversation. If I'm like the Taylor Swift man song with the people, if that's what? I would have that conversation. Because it just was a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> from the top, from the make it drop. <laughs> nah. Look, I don't know how to make it clap. <laughs> Beautiful me, let's go. Being beautiful, me. Being beautiful, me. Being beautiful, you. Hey. <laughs> Being beautiful, me. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's right. You got it. Being beautiful, me. Andrea. Being beautiful, me. Being beautiful, me. Being beautiful, me. Andrea. That's so official production. A lot of history back there. Mm-hmm. Beautiful me. Let's go. I sent you a video on IG. It is hilarious. It's a TikTok. Did you get it? I'm gonna finish all of my um cocoa. In your DM. Hold on, you just Deborah. Deborah has issues. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and send it to your phone through text. Hold on one second. Do you see it? I will ask you to move that right over here. Now I'm gonna send it to let me do this. If you can. And give me one second. Closer. Yeah. Alright. You got it. Yeah. Closer. I don't have it. Mm-hmm. Oh, Facing hey, me. Deborah? Okay. No, look. turn the, the head, I guess. I'm I don't know. Turn it. Yeah, turn it down. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be mm -hmm. on my page. So go and check on my page. So give me one second. Okay, do you have it? Deborah has issues. She has issues. I don't beautiful me. Yes. Woo! 30 seconds? I got 30 seconds. 28, 26, 24. <laughs> beautiful me, let's go! And we are so back here on Andrea to show me your lady being beautiful, me Andrea. Here on the Top 40 Station, Next 105. Here on the IBNX Radio Network, guys. Yes, we are engaging, we are empowering, and we are entertaining you. Yes, that's what we're doing. And we are right now in health to your ears. Yes, health to your ears. Aromas of Andrea will be back probably next week. I don't know, something like that. 
But anyway, guys, if you have any ideas or any scents or any aromas you'd like for um for myself to mention here on the Andre the Show, uh, you know, please go ahead and send it in. You can go to uh, the Andre at a show at gmail dot com and uh, you know. And make sure you put in the subject line, aromas of Andreetta. And, you know, you have some ideas and what women and men can do. You know, unlike what, oh, oh, something, you know, you like to smell. Something you you like to, you know, uh, um, you know, just be around, you know, around you in your house or on your body. Things like that, you know. Or something, well, yeah, just pretty much aromas. I was about to say clothes, but I was like, no, never mind. <laughs> but anyway, guys, help to your ears. I have to give this, this this disclaimer because I have to. <laughs> so anyway, it's not intended to be a substitute for medical professional advice and should not be relied on as a health or personal advice. Uh, all cases recommends that you consult your physician. Your physician, guys. Okay. <laughs> now, natural remedies for menopause, guys, according to the health sources. Uh, the question is, do Mother Nature's treatments help hot flashes? Because we all go through them. Yes, we do. And I know that even men, do you think that men go through these hot flashes too? Huh, Johnny? I wouldn't say hot flashes, but like there be times where it just gets hot. And I guess it's just it's the room is just hot. Nah, y'all go through hot flashes. Y'all go through menopause too. I don't, at this point, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it either. But I'm just saying, I wouldn't rule it out. Surprises. I wouldn't. I wouldn't rule it out because for women, women start menopause or uh, let's say pre-menopause, but it's still menopause. Put a pre, put a post. Damn it, it's still menopause. Okay, you start in your late twenties. Now, a lot of women, I have learned some years ago as a young lady, she was in her, she was about in her late 20s, but she could be like 26, 27, you know, something like that. And she was describing where she was losing hair, her breasts were tender, okay, um, and some other things that were going on. And those are one of those signs of menopause. So she was pre-menopausing. You start in your late 20s. So when you men be like, oh, oh, you on your period? That's insulting for one. And not realizing that, okay, when you're not researching it or you're not paying attention to your body, and especially for you young men, let me say boys, and then you have some men that just don't understand that our bodies go with the moon, the sun, yeah. the weather, and all kinds of things. Maybe the moon. That's real true. You can see it in people's... The doggone seasons change. Our bodies yeah, change. Yeah. Pretty much. So, again, because... And you ain't got to carry a, 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 a something the size of a... Bigger than a football. Okay? Coming out of something the size of a limit. Okay? That's true. Okay. So, now, what I'm saying is... Is that when um, myself being a, a young person... And at my... At, at the age of 30... That's when I knew... What I was going through. And I refuse to take any medications for it. So what I'm saying to you guys. Um, basically I just needed a fan around me. To cool me down. Or think positive thoughts. And I promise you it does work. Thinking those positive thoughts. <laughs> they work. <laughs> okay. They do. Now I have to say. To treat those hot flashes guys. They mention here like black cohosh. Is one of them. Okay, I cannot pronounce this. I'm not going to pronounce the rest of it. No, I'm not because it's always another name for it. Okay, now this herb has received quite a bit of uh, scientific attention for its possible effects for um, on hot flashes. Okay, so it's black cohosh. That's C-O-H-O-S-H. Cohosh. Okay, now it, um, that's one of them. The, uh, the second one is red clover. Red clover, the, it's, uh, the flowers are used to make medicine. Red clover is used for symptoms of menopause, weak, brittle bones, high levels of cholesterol, and many other conditions that there is no scientific evidence of to support these uses. In foods and beverages, red clover is used as a flavoring agent, excuse me, ingredients, okay? Now, if you look back at it, they may have changed the name a little bit because if you do not, I tell everyone, please, please, please do your research. 
It won't hurt you. If you're trying to find something to help, if you are so ready to go purchase or get something from a doctor, okay, yo, let me just say, you know, I'm not against doctors because there are great doctors out there, okay? I'm just saying you have every right to heal you. So if you want to know something, we got you got the World Wide Web in your hands, okay? And all you have to do, where do you think they're getting these medicines from? From a plant. That's where it, it and it's not only that, they will duplicate it and put it into, make it a chemical to make it like that. Okay? So I'm just letting you know, this is called God's green earth, guys. <laughs> but anyway, that's one of the things that you can look at. Now, there's another one called Don Cry. Don Cry. Don it's Quai. called Don Quai. That's that's Q U A I. Don D O N. Excuse me, Dong D O N G. So Don Quai. All right. Now it's an herb used in traditional Chinese medicine to nourish blood and treat men menstrual, uh, menstrual and menopausal symptoms. Um, doing uh, excuse me, Don Quai uh, has been used in traditional medicines for thousands of years, is what they say. And I don't doubt that because, you know, I they are. So um, now this is one that you do know and you are very familiar with, guys. It's called ginseng. Now, just because you see a hot ginseng at the gas stations don't mean it's real ginseng. OK, guys, ginseng. you want to get the real ginseng. Okay, that's what you want to do. Now, ginseng has been proven to help reduce severity of hot flashes and um, night sweats. In menopausal uh, women. Now, according to recent research, has uh, even found that it can help postmenopausal. That's after you know years. You're about to end it. <laughs> you're about to end it. Now, um, it has lessened their risk of co uh, cardiovascular disease, and you can drink ginseng tea uh, ginseng tea daily. You can. So, I would say get the real. Don't get no shot of ginseng that's sitting on a, on a counter. Don't get the cargo brand ginseng either. Don't get the great value. You got to go to the produce section and you have to get. Matter of fact, go to the Chinese. Okay, like the, whichever the farmers one. Farmers market, really. Farmers market. Just go get yourself some ginseng. Period. That works wonders. Ginseng's tea. You have no idea, guys. Okay, and again, oh, so if you want to do, I have a quick, a quick remedy for you when you're having those hot flashes. Okay, now you might not be able to find any around, okay, when you're just sitting at your office, at your desk, or, you know, look, get an ice cube, just hold it in your hand, one hand or both, okay, just hold it. And you'll find that your whole body temperature goes down. <laughs> I do it all the time. And it works. And um, even I even done that for if for someone that's feeling hot, you know, you know, if they just feeling hot. I did that for them and it worked for them too. Anyway, and it was a it was a guy. Alright, yes. <laughs> so um it does work. So, or, or just put your hand on a cold can of uh, uh, ice bottle water, a bottle um icy, uh, a frozen bottle, uh, frozen bottle of water, or put your hand in the freezer. I don't know. Just put your hands, get a hold of some ice. That's all I'm saying, guys. And it does take down the temperature. And you don't have a temperature. Your body is just rising. You know, that's all it is. And then we have another one um, called sage. Yeah, sage, the stuff that you may use on your, for your turkey for Thanksgiving. Sage. So sage, guys, I promise you, I have used sage with um, lavender. That, ooh, that's, that's a good Is it la, la, sage and lavender? Lavender tea. Okay. So you actually get the herb itself, the flowers itself, okay? And I mix them and make a tea. Put it, get a, a strainer. Right? Uh -huh. So you're going to boil the water. You've had it sit in the water. You're making a tea is what you're doing. And then you add whatever, you know, guagave, honey, or whatever the case is. Or you drink it hot or you drink it cold. Okay? Yeah. I did it. And it works wonders. The sage that you like normally burn? Sa not, not that sage. No. You okay. get sage that you will cook with. The cook that you eat. You drink. Yeah. You eat. You, you put in your food. That's what I'm talking about. The sage, the white sage you burn. No. You get the sage that you're going to cook with. You get the fresh sage. 
okay or you get the sage that's already dry or whatever the case mm -hmm. is and i would mix it with a, a a peppermint or i mix it with a lavender and i make a hot tea or you make a cold one but make sure you have a strainer because you don't want you know taking all the herbs takes all the fun out of it okay I'm so gonna, i'm gonna have to try that i did that and i promise you the sage this is the secret to sage guys okay it actually makes your hair and your nails grow I know, but see, you're a guy, yeah. and you're young, so I'm just saying, for, for men, you, your, your, your hormones are always raging, yeah. okay, yeah. so I'm saying, for men, period, always raging, because your hair is always growing, for women, it's different, so, but when we're older, for women, our hair seems to grow in places we probably shouldn't be growing, but anyway, that's besides the point, so, <laughs> uh, what I'm saying is, sage actually helps your hair to grow, and your nails to grow as well, when you have, when you drink sage, you um, take sage, put it in your hair, boil it, put it in your hair, wash your hair, whatever the case is. But it actually does. Food is your medicine, guys. Food is your medicine. When are you going to get it through your thick head? Like, for real. Anyway, the herb is believed to help hot flashes and night sweats, but safely um, is a concern. Um, safety is a concern, is what they say. It is potentially dangerous because it contains a toxic co um, component called thujon, um, which can cause seizures or other neurological symptoms with long-term use. Now, again, if you're putting in your food <laughs> and you actually are just, you know, because you're not, you're you have you're using the sage. You take it one day at a time. One day, put it in the tea, make a tea or whatever. No, it does. It says it can be very strong. Yes, it can. But again, get the actual herb itself. And I would say just go ahead and make yourself a tea. Put in your hair. You know, put in your food. You know, you'll be fine. You know, you're not sitting there chewing on the darn thing. You're just putting it in the tea. That's all I'm saying. You know. But anyway, there's another one called Evening Primrose, Primrose Oil. And it is used for premenstrual um, syndrome, PMS, and symptoms of menopause, arthritis, swelling, and other conditions. But there is no good scientific evidence uh, to support its use in foods. The oil from Evening Primrose is... Um, uh, used as a source of essential fatty acids. And I have to include colon cleansing does work. And I mean actually getting a colonic because what happens, stuff sits in your digestive system and actually, you know, part of the digestive and that would be your cecum and your, your, um, your, um, upper, your upper, uh, um, your, uh, up, oh Lord, I don't forgot everything in my mouth right now. <laughs> Anyway, the colon basically from there it, uh, is connected to uh, your sinuses, your ears, eyes, and um, then you have your transverse, which is connected to your throat. There's a lot of things that's connected in your digestive system that this is something that you want to take a look at, guys. If you don't know, then you need to ask somebody. You could just go ahead and Google what parts of the colon um, is connected to other areas in the body. Okay, now use all of these remedies with caution is what I suggest, and that's health to your ears. Next up is being beautiful me. We'll be right back here on the Andre and the Show. How was that? That fan is blowing on me, and I'm like this. <laughs> now, I want some ice water. <clears throat> and it's sitting in the, um, I just want ice water, because I have some salmon and some, um, a broccoli salad waiting for me. It's like a coleslaw. So it's waiting for me in the car. <laughs> mm -hmm. How are you guys doing out there? Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Um, what am I eating? Um, I'm eating these cocoa melts. 
it's coconut. Um, coconut is wrapped up in the um, in chocolate. And the center, and caramel. The dark chocolate is 60% dark chocolate. No dairy in this. None at all. Okay. And, um, I'm trying to finish it up. Now, hold on. And sea salt. And it's too. That's what I got. So, organic cane, cane sugar, organic cocoa butter, cocoa butter, oh Lord, vanilla extract, coconut milk, rice syrup, brown rice syrup, sea salt. Vanilla bean. This is the last time I'm going to eat this. <laughs> I wanted something to snack on. Because on Thursdays, it's like my, um, it's my long time getting ready for today. For the show. You know, before you get on this, before you perform... Which I do a lot of. I require peace. And um, I really have to have that so I can really, really do my best. So how am I doing for you guys right now? I got chocolate right here. Oh gosh, we're not licking that now. <laughs> so. Oh, that's why I came out. Oh, yeah. Go crazy, mama! Uh, uh. Mmm, mmm. That is, um, my producer, he said that that's one of the, the best songs that Chris Brown had made. Which one? This one? Yeah. This song? Uh-huh. No. Okay. So Johnny Brown. says Brown. no. Chris Brown has hit that. He has hits all the time. But, but this is like the best new recently, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, recently, I you hit it all the time. I was like, oh, <laughs> but the one they've been showing, no guidance, the way with him with him, um, Drake, no guidance. That's a year ago, that was a year ago. But, I but like, the, why does it feel like I'm just not catching on to it? That's what I'm saying, and I think that is the best. That is a sexy song, it is, but they don't play it. That's the only reason I like Overplayed it. it. They're still playing it. They're still playing it? They're still playing it. Wow. I mean, if you have to put No Guidance versus this, I go with No Guidance. I like that. I like the this No Guidance thing. Him and this, Drake. This is a TikTok song. This is like... That's what I'm talking about. It's a TikTok song. And that's all mommy go crazy. So I say, okay, I got to do me a TikTok song. Would y'all like to see me do a TikTok on this thing? Go crazy. Everything you do is amazing. I can't wait. I'm going to make that my wedding song. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make that my wedding song. Mm -hmm. Everything that you do is amazing. Well, that would be me. I'm the one that do everything amazing. <laughs> He'll be dedicating that to me. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I do, don't I? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> that light, that light is not enough. Mm -mm. I want you guys to hear that. Then down, down. Then down, down. Night. Then bang. 20 seconds, I got to drop. I got 20 seconds. I got to drop after that? Okay. No problem. That's amazing. Baby, everything you do, amazing. Crazy. Hey, oh baby. 
But I will do what I want to do. Right. Being beautiful me. And welcome back to the Andrea the Show. I'm your lady, being beautiful me, Andrea. This is your top 40 station. Next, 105. All right, guys. Look, this is being beautiful me segment. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm just coming to tell you a little bit about why is it called being beautiful me. Being beautiful me basically comes from your heart. It's your spirit. It is what you are from the inside out. I am being beautiful me. That is my, um, my, my, uh, how you say my, uh, what do you call it, Johnny? Mantra. Your mantra. Your my motto. mantra. My motto. Yeah, I was trying to say model, but anyway, that is me. Okay. Being beautiful. Anyway, me. <laughs> and because when I first started on radio, Johnny, yeah. okay, uh, you know, everybody has a, a, uh, model. Yeah. For themselves. And that actually was, someone said, well, what do you want to call yourself? I said, huh? Because <laughs> like, I didn't even think about it. Yeah. So I had to dig, not too deep, but people that already knew me, they was like, being beautiful. And that's me. So that's basically how it all began. But it not so much, this, this depth to that, of course. That is, I'm against bullying. Um, I have been bullied. I, um, I will get you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but I was always looked at as being, even in elementary and junior high school, I was looked at as big sis or mom. I just had that mentality or that behavior where I had respect with my, my peers and I had respect from my teachers too. You know? And, um... It was just something where I, I carried myself differently at a very young age. So that's where that pretty much, you know, and I, I, I would say I would give my shirt off my back for you. I don't have any hate against you. I just won't deal with you if I don't like you. <laughs> just basically it. You know what I'm saying? Now that's true, though. It's like, if you don't like somebody, why would you put yourself... I ain't gonna put that? myself in that. No. Why I would you do, even do that to yourself? No, I wouldn't do that to myself, and um, I won't waste my words yeah, on you no, either to tell no. you that I don't like you. There's no need for that, but if you ask me, just don't be afraid, and don't be mad at the answer that I give you. And that's what it's live by. by Andrea. Exactly. And that is, again, change the way you think, because you can change your world. Um, so that is being beautiful me. Um, I'm here to, for a purpose, I have a mission, I have a plan, you know, and it starts with my family. It starts with, it starts with my children. So being beautiful me, I have a smile on my face. That doesn't mean I'm not in pain. Okay. And what they always said, um, you know, I smile to keep from crying. I laugh and keep from crying. You know, people had said to me when I was, um, I was in a position where I was going to work every day, have my three kids, and um, people would say to me once I, when they found out what my story was, they said, oh my gosh, and you come to work every year, and you're always smiling. You know, so, I mean, why am I coming to work to look you know, mean? Why? 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 It's, nothing's going to change by me being, looking mad or being disrespectful my tone is mean or whatever the case is there's no need for that because it's definitely not going to change it's still going to be there but again the word of god does say what a man thinketh so is he so if you continue to think to yourself and say to yourself no one hears you but these are thoughts in your head you saying to yourself because you can speak to yourself and say that you're broke well, doggone it, you're going to be broke. You keep saying words like that, you will be just that very thing because you're going to draw that. You're attracting that to your life. So how about flipping that? I'm just going to say flipping the script, but I'm just one more kind of plug, but, but anyway, how about flipping that? I am wealthy. I am beautiful. I am prosperous. I am great. I am God. I am. I am God. Um, what God says, I am. There you go. God doesn't say that you. Who 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 grows up and says I'm gonna be a bum? <laughs> who grows up and say I'm gonna be a you gonna be a crackhead? 
who grows up and said they're going to be broke? You understand what I'm saying? So just go ahead and just speak life. Look in the mirror. And it's going to take time. I ain't say that when you look, first thing you do when you look in the mirror, you're going to say to yourself, oh, I'm, I'm prosperous, I'm great, and blah, blah, blah. And then to the point where your pain is coming through, you see it in your eyes. You keep saying it to yourself till you believe it. Life and death is in the power of our tongues. So, why don't you go ahead and just take over that. Take heed to it. Believe in it. It's, it's the truth, though. Go ahead, you continue saying all the, the negative things. How that, how that working for you? How is that working for you? It's not. Come on. You ain't done it before? Well, then try something else. Let's do that. Okay? There you go. Try something else. Just try something else, period. Oh, but I had nothing's work. But did you try what I just mentioned? If you haven't tried it, is it going to kill you? Hmm. Stay in that little slump and stay, stay in that little situation that you got going on. That's what's going to kill you. You want to live. Not survive. Stop surviving. And then start living. Let's do that. Like I said before, words. And body. that is. <laughs> and that is being beautiful me. And up next, guys, is I give you the app segment. But we're going to go ahead and stay lit here on the Top 40 Station. Next 105. Here on the IVNX Radio Network. You got a caller. I do. Yes. Okay, I, wonderful. I can bring them in after this song. Okay, let them know. All right. Got a caller. And they just disappeared. <laughs> and they just left. Okay. I mean, hey, I was going to bring them. They didn't reply to the message, but at least I know it works. Okay, cool thing. Okay, they left. And she did hear the show live, so that's okay. That's all right. Huh. Eh. Whoa. Huh. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Woo. So, back home. Whoa. Uh. Woo. Whoa. Uh. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Do that in the chair. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. 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 Whoa. <laughs> okay, let me see. Hey, Carla. Hey, baby. Hey, everybody. How are you? Willie Jones. Yes, David. Chrissy. Hey, Tisley. How you doing, darling? And we got Robert Wilson. Uh-huh. Okay, let me say, let me say, blah, 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 blah. I can't read everything. Okay, but I see the names. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, hey guys, how are you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in um, to the Andrea Show here on the Top 40 Station. Next, 105, um, we are here to engage, empower, and of course, you know, to entertain you. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, guys, look, if you want to go ahead and call in, you can do that, too. Um, just what you have saw there, um, you will be on film, and you don't have to be. You can put a little black thing, but it, just to call in, you can do that. Um, uh, sorry, I just hit the button here. <laughs> Oh no. It's taking everything I said. That's what it's doing. Yup, yup. Okay, so how are you doing today? I thank you so much for tuning in with me. I greatly appreciate you all. Um, I want you to please, please go ahead and get my single. And that is the um, Vitamin D song. The Vitamin D song is called Vitamin D. Uh, <laughs> and that, the artist, of course, is myself, this Andre Getta. That's A-N-D-R-E-T-T-A on the Music Makers 101. Music Makers with an S, 101.com. This Music Makers 101.com. Okay, and the download is $2, so please support the black business. I greatly appreciate you. And that would be the Andre at Agarns Productions, where we're here to basically, you know, um, provide jobs, provide, you know, um, there's so much to be had to this, guys. So please, I greatly appreciate it. Okay, $2. $2. It's less than your, your drink at Starbucks. Okay, so, um, I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> he saying move. Hey, hey. Okay. 